So in the United States, you know, roughly 30 million patients are afflicted by some level of severity of diabetes and a huge proportion of them are undiagnosed. So they're walking around with diabetes for many years, not realizing that this is happening. And so we really want to see those patients right at the time of diagnosis because for all we know, they've already had diabetes for 10 or 15 years and diabetic retinopathy may have already shown itself. This is different than the juvenile or type 1 diabetic who we don't need to see those patients right away in the eye clinic. We usually see them within five years of diagnosis because they typically are diagnosed right as soon as it is developed. The other impact of diabetes is monetary. You know, it costs the government roughly $500 million a year to care for patients with diabetes and the impact um, on society is even bigger. We know that it costs roughly $4 billion a year of social impact of diabetes not just diabetic retinopathy, but all diabetes. The patients at the greatest risk for diabetes are those who have poor blood sugar control, those with a poor diet, eating lots of highly processed foods, high carbohydrate diet, not exercising. So very sort of couch potato is a person who's really the classic uh, patient who's at uh, greatest risk for type two diabetes. We also worry about type 1 diabetes, but that's more of a genetic type of uh, risk factors that are involved. So for the vast majority of patients with diabetes, it's going to be those with uh, poor uh, eating habits and lifestyle habits. If you have diabetes, one thing that frustrates us is that a lot of patients don't know how to accurately characterize their blood sugar control. And so they'll always tell us about their blood sugar this morning or yesterday, and they always pick the best number. So what we really want to know is that average three month blood sugar over time. And the real good diabetic patients are those who know what that number is and are tracking it. We call it the hemoglobin A1C. I know it sounds a little bit technical, but it's actually a very uh, well recognized number by both patients and diabetes doctors. So if you have diabetes, you really want to know that number and you want to track that number over time so that all of the different specialists that are taking care of the multiple varieties of diabetes affecting the body, whether it's the foot doctor, the kidney doctor, the cardiologist, uh, the nephrologist taking care of the, the kidneys. Uh, you really want to know that number so you can share that number with each of those specialists. Patient's vision is affected by diabetes in the most common way being from diabetic macular edema. We just call that swelling of the macula from diabetes. And basically what happens is the blood vessels of the retina get damaged by long-term high blood sugar. And that makes those blood vessels leaky. And so the blood and other constituents of blood start leap, uh, seeping out of the leaky blood vessels, get into the retina and make the retina swell. And when your retina is also like the film of the camera. So if that film is damaged and swollen, then you're not gonna see well. Fortunately for that form of diabetes, we actually have outstanding treatments that we use in the Roski Institute every day, several times a day, um, and that's a chronic ongoing treatment. It's not a cure, but we have outstanding treatments for diabetic macular edema. Now that's one way that your vision is affected, but really we're worried more about severe loss of vision irreversibly from diabetes. We mentioned we have great treatments for the swelling of the macula, so, but some patients can lose all of their vision forever if they present very late in the disease process. And that's from new abnormal blood vessels growing in front of the retina, bleeding and filling the eye filled with blood. Then that forms scar tissues which pull on the retina and make the retina detach. And a lot of times, even with treatment at that very late stage, there's not much we can do. So the goal is prevention and screening. So if we can prevent those late stages of diabetes in the eye from happening, that's fantastic. And the way to find out how that's happening is to have you stop by the clinic and get checked out if you're at risk for diabetes and diabetic eye disease. What is diabetic retinopathy? There's many different levels of severity, so it's easier to kind of start with the early stages. Diabetic retinopathy in its earliest form is just a few little areas of bleeding in the retina and the macula. And then sometimes we'll see other findings in the retina, such as accumulation of lipid or cholesterol deposits in the retina. 
And when it really gets out of control, it's not just these so-called background findings of diabetic retinopathy that we see, but we start to get more of a proliferation, a growth of abnormal new blood vessels in front of the retina, and that's at the more severe stages. And then the end stage, you can end up with a detached retina that can really lead to severe loss of vision, sometimes associated with a whole eyeball full of blood from all of the aforementioned uh, findings from diabetes. One unique element of the retina service at the Roski Eye Institute is that we have outstanding access to state-of-the-art diagnostic and therapeutic equipment. So what does that mean? Basically, we have a lot of cool gadgets that we can use to help detect the earliest stages of diabetic retinopathy, even before we would be able to detect it by looking at you, and also um, outstanding therapeutic options, so new ways of treating diabetic retinopathy. We're involved with a lot of different clinical trials from some of the latest and uh, greatest uh, potential new drugs that may be on the market that could be helpful. And we also are educating the next generation of retina specialists and ophthalmologists here at the University of Southern California, Keck School of Medicine. So we have residents and fellows who help, uh, help us on the retina team take care of uh, patients in a very timely manner.